Thirumalai, and I hope I pronounced that name correctly. Uh, and Max, you just talked about professional services. I know a big part of Red Hat's revenue is services, although you're very partner centric. So your channel or your partners generate huge numbers of services around Red Hat as well. But the question from Thirumalai is, um, uh, what about forecasting professional services versus product? Do you think there's any differences or things to consider there? Gee, I would say it's almost easier in the professional services business for our, our guys to forecast. They've got two challenges. They have to forecast revenue as well as bookings. But yeah. you know, I think generally the opportunities are a little bit more developed when the professional services guys get engaged um, in our business anyway. Um, so I would say it's almost a little easier. Um, and you know, I mean, really it's basic fundamental qualification. Go through the methodologies. There's thousands of them out there. You know, I remember the very first one I had need willingness, um, yes. you know, <laughs> competition, right? And you just go through the, the, the process and, and figure out whether you're, you, you You've qualified it according to the, the methodology that your organization uses or that you personally use. And, uh, and, and and I think you've got a better chance in the services space because there's probably a little less competition. It depends. I mean, sometimes services are, are, are quite um, generic, but yeah. in our separate business, it's it's quite specific. So it's a, it's a bit harder. And yeah, absolutely. We use a lot of partners. They oftentimes have been doing, you know, multiple services engagements for that that yeah. that customer, and so they're probably closer to the customer in terms of understanding not just the requirements but also the process to, to close stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. And Thirumali, the other thing I'd encourage you to think about is that any professional services organisation is very familiar with 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 project plans and actually building out a Gantt chart project plan, apply that thinking to your selling. So actually create a mutual plan with the client as soon as you can in the selling process so that there's no nasty surprises. So we're all aligned with timing and process for actually getting the deal done. So when also, young, yeah. that same process, Tony, you know, generally there is, you know, identifying the opportunity, qualifying it, and then proposing it right? in, in very short terms make sure that your process of qualifying it is solid because solid. that's the piece that allows you to, to forecast correctly. Yeah, especially making sure the customer's got a strong business case for securing approval because at the end of the day, you're going to be competing for resources and funding internally. So.